Pyomo is open source software for formulating and analyzing optimization models, providing the structure to help decision makers. Used in many diverse science, engineering, and business applications, recent enhancements have demonstrated that Pyomo is the best tool for rapidly developing the next generation of powerful optimization-based strategies to solve complex, real-world problems. Our definition of success for this, this project was that we'd be getting integration from external collaborators on new capabilities, that we have a wide range of users that were solving real-world applications, and we're there. Pyoma was developed by researchers at Sandia National Laboratories, Purdue University, and the University of California at Davis. What started at Sandia as a platform to address complex national security challenges is now being used in areas as wide-ranging as planning electric grid operations and combating infectious disease. This graphic here is a study that we've done that's focused on measles. And so we worked with the Time Ministry of Public Health to gather historical data for the measles cases that they had seen in all of their provinces. And then we developed models and optimization techniques inside of Pyomo that took that historical disease data and developed models that would help them understand the spread of dynamics. Pyomo is open source and uses the popular programming language Python. Both features encourage extensibility, where outside users can add new capabilities. And we decided that we wanted to build on top of a well-established language that then all we had to teach our users was this modeling terms and the concepts specific to constructing optimization models. We can rely on a large library of external, very advanced capabilities that then can be brought in and used in conjunction with the optimization modeling capabilities that we provide inside of Pyomo. Recent releases, starting with Pyomo 4.1 in July 2015, include new advanced capabilities that were rapidly developed using Pyomo's unique support for model transformations and hierarchical modeling, a strategy that builds on the extensibility concept. There's kind of two core uh, elements of that extensibility. One is the ability to compose new models out of little pieces or blocks. It's kind of like you would uh, build a, a, a model out of Legos. Which brings a component-based modeling architecture into Pyoma. And what this means is that different researchers can build different parts of models and in the same way that we would take Lego pieces and we would pick and choose, we can now take those pieces from those experts and we can click them together and, and build our Lego structure out of that. And the other piece is the ability to translate between one model formulation and another, much like you translate between different languages. And this year, we solidified that capability and we demonstrated how quickly you could use the capabilities in Pyomo to build new solvers for new classes of, of structure within the, the optimization community. What Pyomo allows us to do is start one level higher at a system level and represent it in a way that makes sense to us as engineers, as operators, as business people when we're working on one of these models. We can represent it in a structure that makes sense to us and then rely on the automatic machinery inside of Pyomo to convert it once to the set of underlying equations that we want to have solved and then to translate that into the actual form that gets sent to the solver. With a steady growth in the number of Pyomo users, the team continues to explore new ways to model and solve real world problems. By allowing the community at large to use our tools, they're pushing it in directions that we may not have considered originally and in the end we end up with a much more general, much more widely applicable and much more robust product. It has fundamentally changed the amount of time required for us to explore new ideas and, and complete our research. It uh, supports flexibility in a way that commercial tools don't. It's more mature and has more capabilities and is more extensible than competing academic open source research tools. Pymo is allowing us to envision the next generation of modeling capabilities and it's influencing not only the, the, the leading edge researchers in the United States, but it's also influencing the, uh, the commercial vendors who think about what does it mean to solve large, complex, real world applications.